So okay, tell me, are you that. an early bird or you're a night owl? Recently. I am both. I am both. <laughs> so how are you? I'm fine. How are you? Doing well. Thank you for asking. I think we're meeting after a couple of months. I think more than that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you were trying to book a few sessions with me, right? Maybe the timing issue was there. Yes, yes, you are right. So, how is it going? Everything is going just well. Uh mm-hmm. huh. So tell me, like, uh, what all have you, what all things have you been doing in the meanwhile? Are you practicing regularly? What about your work and everything? No, I was not practicing from last couple of months, even more than that, uh, because I, I don't know whether you are aware or not, but I became a mother second time, so mm-hmm. I have a newborn baby now. And, Congratulations! Uh, he's only three months old, so this is the reason I was not uh, doing my practice from last. Three four months you can say, but yes now mm. I have started everything like uh, uh, get back to normal everything yeah. Hmm that's why you are not active. How how are you now? I'm like fine. physically good, nice. Yes. All right. Have you started working? Yes yes yes. Nice nice. Okay. So uh, tell me like uh, what was the last YouTube upload for you? I think it was months ago, right? Oh, with you, it was like months ago. No, but I have started working on YouTube as well. <laughs> I have I am uploading nice. videos daily these days, daily <laughs> from last ten that days. That is wonderful. <laughs> yes, that's so amazing. Hmm. That's <laughs> amazing. Great. Yes. Very nice. Okay, so I think it's great that you are back on track and you took a few months as rest, and now you're going forward with that. All right. Yes. All right. Yes. So tell me, how's it going? Uh, the weather has drastically changed in the last few days. Do you feel that? You are still living in Gurgaon or somewhere else? I'm in I'm in Delhi. I'm in Delhi. So Delhi Gurgaon yeah, is Delhi. almost same. Right? Almost same, but I don't feel any changes. Like, hmm. so, so weather is not really good. It's so hot, exactly. Actually, because you know, right now I'm sitting and my fan is not on. It's turned off because of the recording issues. And I can feel so much, so much sweating on my face. I understand. Yes. You have to bear it for like uh, twelve, ten, twelve more minutes, right? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Okay, okay, that's nice. Uh, and how's your son? He is good. He's fine. And how about your mother? She's also good now. Mm, glad to hear that. So, uh, what shall we start about? Like, do you want me to give you any random topic, or you want to ask something, or maybe I can answer you? Uh, I don't want to ask anything. I want to go with the topic, but uh, I haven't checked the session topic today. So, let me know what is that. Sh- what is uh, shall I? Shall I check the topic for you? Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. I just I didn't check who was coming. So, good surprise. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, I didn't check like who early bird or night owl. That's a very interesting topic. So okay, tell me, are you about... an early bird or you're a night owl? Recently, I am both. I am both. <laughs> how can you be? How can someone be both? Like explain. <laughs> Seriously, I wake up early, like uh, six o'clock in the morning, and I sleep late at night around sometimes one, sometimes two. I never sleep before twelve. Really? Yes. So really. you're you're just you're just taking six hours of sleep. Even less than that, six hours. I think five hours. So let's say five hours. Maximum five five. I think that is. Do you think it's uh, do you think it's sufficient for your functioning? It is sufficient. I don't know. My mind is active and I am also active. Even during daytime, I don't sleep. Usually, I don't sleep. Sometimes when I feel like very very lazy, very sleepy, then I took a sleep for. Then I take a sleep for around half an hour or one hour maximum. Hmm. So if you want to know more about the importance of sleep, there is a person who has written a book about it. If you don't want to feel like reading the book, you can watch a few videos all about it. There's a TED Talk by Matthew Walker. Okay. Okay. The moment you watch a couple of his videos, then you will realize how do we actually sleep, what all stages are there, and how the same timing and the different timing affects our sleep. And how much shall we exactly sleep on a regular basis? And then you will realize that five hours are not enough. At least it should be around, you know, seven, 
minimum 7 should be there 7 to 8 is like I, perfect i think if you are saying this you are not aware but i think in india i think 70 or 80% of the women has this kind of sleep only because the mother exactly. if you become a mother especially the kids like mother of two kids you hmm. 100% you have to compromise with your sleep and this is what indian women do or doing it for, for for a very long period of time now if you if you are going to ask any woman she will tell you that i i mostly sleep like even but you won't believe but women uh, usually wake up like 5 o'clock in the morning 4 o'clock in the morning and mm. i also surprised to know that because i could not get this much early i couldn't get up this much early the 6 or 6:30 is just sufficient for me but i have seen a lot of women they just you know wake up 5 o'clock doing mm. all household chores and you know uh, they sleep by the time like 11 or 12 minimum so they are also getting 4 to 5 hours of sleep and they are doing it for a long period of time so that is the reason like i don't feel it uh, because you know it's a struggle for few years like four or five years maximum after that everything will be sorted out my kids will grown up and then i i will back to the normal so yeah yeah okay nice definitely as you said that you told me about that in india a working woman or maybe a mother only sleeps for about 6 hours because they have to take care of their kids and sometimes they also have to take care of their office like their work as well exactly right? exactly but definitely sleep is your superpower as that author also said i would i would like would want you to watch that video so tell me when you were <laughs> uh, a student like imagine you're appearing for your board examination so do you used to sleep late at night and study or maybe wake up early in the morning and study no i couldn't get up early in the morning that's the issue with me i can't mm. wake up late mm. at night but uh, if mm. i talk about my uh, uh, student life that time i never wake up uh, like whole night or so late mm. also i didn't how to say this i didn't get up early ever mm-hmm. i never mm-hmm. get wake up early i never i never used to i never used to get up early yes how can i forget this so uh, mm. i'm not habitual actually but you know after marriage especially after having kids <laughs> what are you doing <laughs> i think he's missing you <laughs> he's just standing near me i know i know kids are like that he, yes. they want attention yeah so please continue yeah so what i was telling yeah i am not uh, i was not kind of person who can uh, get up early but mm-hmm. uh, fortunately or unfortunately after having kids you have to wake up early because my elder brother he is... goes to school he goes to school at 7:30 so ultimately i 100% <clears throat> i have to wake up by the time that is more that is uh, like that is more of an obligation as well if you don't wake up someone has to wake up oh. right yeah, so now that you have two kids hmm yes now that you have two kids now that your younger one also younger one will also start going to school after let's say 2 to 3 years so how will you manage both of them have you do you have any plan for that i do not have any plan but i can do it very easily now because now i have a good experience of 4 to 5 years and uh, uh, that is the reason that i am very much um, confident about myself that now i will be able to manage further because mm. sometimes you know when you have one kid then it might be difficult because you did not know um, what can come like what should mm. be happen we are not aware mm. of that but after having one kid you know that what you have to do even the mistakes which i did in my past in order to raise my elder one i may not mm. going to repeat them 100% sure because there are so many mistakes i did made i made the time so i am very mm. much aware about them let like i have to do in different way i i i have to change few pattern so yes second time it's easier second time it, it's easier right let's see like i think good luck for that because you are uh, an experienced mother now you have a four <laughs> yes. to five years of experience you said your your son is four years old you uh, know he'll be he'll turn five in the month of november he will be five after a couple of months yeah hmm five years five years is a long time definitely so yeah, yeah. that was the topic of today's session okay and um, uh, shall i ask you something else or do you have any question you can ask me anything so have you been also. following have you been following the news lately like india conducted this g20 meeting what all things do you yes, know yes, about I that yes i have seen 
I have seen. I I did not know much about that because I didn't get time to watch TV at all. Even I did not watch the movie Gadar and the OMG two and the latest release. I miss good everything. <laughs> I know. I, I know I that. I, I want to watch them, but uh, unable to watch because of having two kids. I cannot go with them to watch movie, right? So, and I'm waiting hmm. like when they will release on Netflix or Amazon Prime, then I'm gonna see them. So yes, Definitely. I G twenty. G twenty, yeah. Yes, I have seen. It was a good meeting. Mandapam. It was a uh, hugely hmm. decorated, and it was looking like a uh, bungalow, not bungalow, uh, hotel, seven star hotel. And there was like a uh, food arrangements that also huge, and everything was amazing. I've seen Narendra Modi and Murmu and other people who are coming and joining the meeting and all. Mm. I have no, not much idea, but yes, these are the like highlights which I have seen on the news. Hmm. All right. So these were the highlights. Definitely. So G20 is all about a union of different countries. There are 19 countries, and now there are 20 countries. Earlier there were 19 countries and one European okay. Union. Now Brazil okay. has been added, I guess. Brazil or Africa? Not sure. Modi, I think he added I some country. Africa, oh. Modi. I don't know. That's a different okay. topic altogether. But yeah, it was of a great, uh, you know, significance for our country, and it was all in the news. And I think. Uh, uh delhi was closed for friday and saturday no no three, saturday three days, and sunday yeah. three days yeah three there was a curfew. lockdown yeah only only in central delhi not in noida and gurgaon maybe yes 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 right. right okay so you've missed a few movies like omg2 you mentioned right it's a good movie you should watch very nice yes Gather, i know definitely <laughs> but you movie. can always watch in ott or perhaps you can also watch in the cinemas now as you can go out what was the last time you went out with your family Don't remember. You don't remember, like the, I think it was for, like for really, movie? really long. You're you're Not asking for a movie? movie, casual, casually. Then last to last week. <laughs> last Monday. to last week, and what okay. about a movie? When it was the G20 at the time of G20, uh, we went to Bhiwadi, and there is this punch gown, dhaba kind yeah. of thing. We went there. We had like our breakfast, alu paratha or something, which is famous for, uh, from that punch gown, and uh, yes, that one day we traveled like. Gurgaon to Bhiwari, and same day we came back. Hmm. Same day we returned. Oh, same day you came back, right? Gurgaon to Bh uh, Bhiwari. 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 Yeah. There is a Bhiwani also. No Bhiwari. I'm talking about Bhiwari. It is one hour distance. Like uh, these are these are two different places. Forty-two kilometers. Yeah. Hmm. Nice. Okay, yes. so your like your overall confidence level has definitely like you know improved because the last time we had a session, the very first session we had was last year, as you remember, and that yes. time you were you were struggling with uh, tenses and to frame a few basic sentences also. But I think it's we should be proud of yourself that you have improved a lot, and now your idea, your task should be that you should do it consistently, and you should sustain it for the upcoming days <laughs> as well, right? Mm -hmm. So. be being a working and a, like a, like a mother i think you should always have at least 20 to 30 minutes for your self development that is really important okay like rest of the things can wait and you can always manage things but uh, you should have at least 30 minutes for your practice like practicing english writing something reading something anything not just the communication part i think other mm, things I'm, are also i'm needed. reading these days i'm reading i'm reading a book and i'm finished half of the book just in two or three days i'm so passionate about reading that what is the name of that book name arrange marriage something <laughs> and it's amazing yeah. <laughs> it's it's is it like funny chetan is Bhagat. it like real realist oh suspense. chetan bhagat is a great suspense okay and definitely i think you should continue with that book <laughs> and the vocabulary would also be like really easy to comprehend right also i'm having conversation half an hour a day with some people like uh, other youtubers or sometimes with my subscribers and i'm i'm uploading those conversation videos on my channel and they are helping these videos are helping other people to learn english over well. mm. yes this is what am i doing because from last 5 to 6 months actually i was not into the practice i was like my life has completely changed because of my mom's health and i was totally into that also that time i was pregnant so it was it was very difficult for me to manage because i had to go to the hospital like aims 
and uh, standing there in the long queues for whole day it was very mm. ex- exhausting that time so i was not able to spend some time on the youtube or enhancing my skill as well so everything was like uh, not uh, going in a flow or like it was disturbed and you know what in the month of august my papa also you know uh, he went went through an operation so he got mm. serious after that he was on ventilator and i was like very uh, it was very bad time for me but luckily god is with us with me especially and everything is just settled now my mom and dad both are fine i am also fine my kids are also fine everything is just sorted out so that is why you that's, can see a smile on my face <laughs> and yeah, it, that's it was wonderful not to hear. <laughs> yes it's wonderful that is wonderful yeah it's like it, it keeps happening like it's uh, these are like phases of life and i think you yes it pretty well and good luck for everything and uh, we'll meet in the next session this one thing you just uh, on like there was a slip of time you said what am i doing it should be what i am doing i am doing yes because I you are declaring something <laughs> you I are really declaring like... something you are not asking so asking, these are like small yes. small things of course so but i should i you should be mindful about them right so yes, next time yes. whenever you feel like booking a session with me you can check around 6 pm to 9 pm monday to friday okay that's great 6 to 9 right, so we'll connect Yeah, I was not expecting you, so I didn't plan anything. Next time when I see your name, I'll oh. definitely plan something for you. All right, to speak about. Yeah, have sure, a wonderful sure. day.